slightest accident with Kyra Johnson, it responded with this memo. All existing raised pavement markers on open VDOT construction contracts are to be removed and not replaced. So Virginia is finally moving to all plastic reflectors. It's a start and a huge win for anyone who drives in Virginia. You just can't wait for something, you know, huge and devastating, life-changing in order to switch to plastic. Glad she's okay. Now, I do want to warn you, replacing metal reflectors like these in Virginia, it's going to take years. Maryland started replacing them two years ago, so keep an eye out for these things. They do come loose over the winter, and they can quickly, guys, turn into missiles over and over again. And just wow. see how heavy that thing is with that asphalt, over Holy 10 pounds. Cow, that'll go right through the windshield. So what happens now as far as getting the plastic and, and getting these off the road? Well, they're going to start this year replacing those as new construction goes and also if one comes out, they'll put the little plastic one in. Remember, that weighs about less than two ounces. It's just going to bounce off your right. windshield. Amazing to think that something like this would get airborne, because if this goes through your windshield, it's going through. I it's mean, crazy. Holy cow. I'm going to give that back to you. Good, All right. pro good progress, Scott. Thank Thanks. you so Thank much. You, we appreciate it. All right, take a look at this. Video shared with ABC7 News shows a reflector that came out of the road on southbound Interstate 395. Look at that thing right there. Oh, That's right near Seminary Road. It happened this morning. And Scott, who can drivers alert, they see something like this. Who do they give a call to is the question I had for you. Well, what they need to do is call um, 911 if it's an emergency like that one, or you call your state transportation department, VDOT, MDOT, DDOT. Right. They should take care of them. Good, now we'll put that on our website too. Mm -hmm. Scott, thanks very much. All right, Seven is on your side asking the questions and keeping an eye out on this tree in Alexandria. That's a section of Fairfax County. Look at the size of that Ooh, thing, right? ABC7 viewer called us and told us about this dangerous leaning tree on Collingwood Road. She said that she wasn't getting any help when she called VDOT until she told them that Seven on Your Side was looking into this. So now VDOT says that an emergency request was put in and that tree will be removed within 48 hours. We'll be sure to check back in two days and make sure that the tree's gone. All mm. right. Well, let's talk about all this rain we yep. have coming our way. Really, is it going to be like Thursday night, really, before the sun makes yeah. an appearance? We, okay, so for the most part, yes. Okay. I mean, we, we might get a little bit of that tomorrow night if we get a, enough of the breaks. Could potentially be a decent sunset, right. but we're talking a few hours. I mean, we're not talking all day. It's okay. cloudy, it's cloudy Wednesday, it's cloudy on Thursday. Dry for Valentine's Day. That's nice. Yeah, it's just cold. Gonna cold. It's going to be cold. <laughs> Got to cuddle up. You, well, there you uh, now that is a glass half full way to look at that. I like that, Allison Starling. 46 degrees in Chantilly right now. Got 48 in D.C. As you can see, it's a wet night. Low clouds, 47 around Hagerstown. Numbers wise, temperature wise, uh, it's going to be not bad. I mean, we're 46 is our normal high temperature, and that's where we are. But we're talking about these impacts. Tomorrow morning, showers. You got a moderate impact. Low impact tomorrow. I don't expect it raining for your Tuesday evening. And maybe a few breaks in the clouds. Pretty quiet on Wednesday morning as well and then some more rain working in here for Wednesday evening. So your impact times are, of course, tonight, tomorrow morning, and Wednesday evening for that. We will get a little bit of a lull. And like I said, maybe a few breaks in the clouds, but let me walk you through it. So our hour by hour right now showing you, right now, that there's the rain around the region, and model's doing a great job. We'll take you here to seven, eight, literally hour by hour. What you're going to notice here is that we keep the green on the map throughout the evening, and that is the off and on rain showers, if not just straight on. Uh, but also the white would be the cloud cover. Notice the clouds don't go anywhere. It's an overcast sky tonight, fog developing late, and by tomorrow morning we're tracking more rain and the potential for some fog as well. Now this is all rain. This is not snow. You don't have to worry about ice or anything like that. And potentially some areas with some moderate rainfall out there tomorrow morning. And then during your day, we're going to keep it that way through probably noon, maybe one o'clock or so, ending from the west to the east. And by the afternoon, I'll stop this at four and notice it's generally cloudy, but there are a few breaks out there. If this holds as is with that sunset around 530 or so, we may get a really nice sunset out there if enough of the cloud cover breaks. So I'm going to be watching for that tomorrow night. Then we get into our Wednesday. Some clouds start building back up ahead of another weather system. Now, in terms of temperatures, look at this. We start out tomorrow in the low 50s, warmer than it is right now. It's a warm front that's uh, providing the energy for all the lift out there for the rain. We top out at about 58. Cold front sweeps through. Numbers drop. So by Wednesday, it will be cooler, no doubt, with temperatures there into the mid-40s. But normal is 46 this time of year for our high temperature. Normal low is 30. So we're, we're above normal all the way through. 61 on Thursday. And then there's your Friday. 38 degrees for the high temperature. But lots of sunshine. And a lot of sunshine out here on Saturday as well. If you're heading on out to...